Hi there guys, Tom Quayle here. Hope everybody's doing very well indeed out there in internet land as usual. Today in this video, I want to talk to you about an amazing piece of gear that I've bought recently that has just kind of changed the way I'm able to utilize my existing tube amps. So as a lot of you guys know, I love my modeling gear and I use modeling gear regularly every day, basically. I've got a Quad Cortex, the Axe FX3, there's a Boss GT1000 core up there as well. And I think those units are amazing but I also absolutely love my tube amps. They just sound great. They are really, you know, there's certain quirks about them, the way they work. Uh, it's just fantastic to be able to play tube amps. I mean, for example, this Mesa Boogie here, it's just pumping out a load of fan noise at the moment, but it sounds absolutely awesome. I love it. So I was looking for a way to be able to utilize my tube amps because I've collected over the years I think I now own 12 different tube amps, uh, which is kind of nuts, but that's what happens when you're a guitar player and over the years you collect gear. But they're a pain because I actually own just two cabs. I have a Marshall 4x12 over there. Uh, I treated myself to a Silver Jubilee reissue last year for my birthday. And I've always wanted one of these amps since I saw Wayne Krantz play at the 55 bar years ago. And he was playing through one of these and I thought it sounded phenomenal. So I have a 4x12 Marshall cab. And then I modded my Laney 2x12 cab, um, well, Lionheart basically, to be a 2x12 cab. So I've got those two cabs, but 12 different amplifiers. And to utilize them, I obviously have to re-cable the head into one of those cabs, then you know, cable the effects loop from my pedal board into the amp. It just becomes a pain you know, any barrier to actually just plugging in and playing is always going to be a problem for guitar players because we're inherently kind of lazy. Maybe we're not, I am. Um, any procrastination is, uh, you know, easy to do. So I wanted a setup where I could actually plug all the amps into a single switching unit and then have all the cabs plugged in as well and my load boxes and be able to use the amps just by switching. And I was on YouTube and I saw a video by Yuge Valaverta, I think his name is. I, I, he's an amazing YouTuber and a great player and I'm sorry if I butchered his name. I'm so sorry. Uh, but he was utilizing one of these, a KHE 8x4 cab and amp switcher. So I immediately found them online, found the website and got in contact with the guys and discovered that this was the best unit for me. And now I bought one of these and I have eight different, in fact, seven at this point, because I haven't wired them all in, seven different amplifiers plugged into this unit and four different cabs. Now, when I say cabs, I have the one by 12, the two, sorry, the four by 12, the two by 12. Then I've got the two notes Captor X. And then above here that you guys can't see, but I'll show you in B-roll is the uh, Universal Audio Oxbox. And those two, the two load boxes are going to my audio interface. So what you can hear here is the Silver Jubilee going through the Ox. <laughs> Okay, so it's a really, really flexible setup and it's so easy to do this because all of the amps get plugged, their inputs get plugged into here and then their outputs get plugged into here and then you basically just cable the cabs up using speaker cables and it's so simple to switch between the different amps and then the different cabs in the room and I can have up to two cabs selected at a time. It cannot ever damage the amplifiers because every time I switch an amp on and there's no cab selected, you see there it's flashing. It's telling me that there's no load. All of the amps are automatically loaded within the unit. So they can never ever be damaged. Their transformers can never blow up. You can never do any damage to them unless you have a cab selected, at which point I can select the relevant amplifier that I want. So what I've got cabled up here is I've got the Silver Jubilee in number one. <coughs> I have a Friedman Dirty Shirley Mini in two. Number three is an Ironheart SLS by Laney. Absolutely love this amp. Uh, number four is this Mesa Boogie Studio preamp with the 5050 Marsh, uh, sorry, Marshall, 5050 Mesa Boogie power amp. Uh, number five is the Laney Lionheart, which uh, I can use the dual fusion in front of, for example.
Uh, number seven is the Laney Super Cub 15 or Cub Super 15. And then number six, which is not switched on at the moment, is this Cornford Harlequin because it needs a little bit of servicing, but this is a heavily modded amplifier. And again, it's so easy just to switch between these different amps like this and I can run them into the different cabs. So for example, with the Silver Jubilee here, I'll explain what the, uh, what the tube amp expander is doing in a second. So for example, with the Silver Jubilee on number one, I can run into the Ox. <laughs> Here's the 4x12. Now obviously you're hearing this in the room, so you're hearing it through the lapel mic. Then the 2x12. Really, really cool. And as I say, I can have a combination of two different cabs and they're always loaded up perfectly. It's absolutely amazing. But it's so much more than that as well. And this is where I decided to go for this unit as opposed to one of the other units on the market. Now, full disclosure here, I should say that in this video, this is not intended to be a review of this product. Um, Marcus did me a deal on this product, although I absolutely approached him and uh, was gonna buy this at full price anyway but he gave me a discount on this unit, a very nice discount, so thank you, Marcus, um, if I was gonna do a video for it, which is really, really cool. So really nice customer service, but um, I would have bought this at full price anyway. In fact, I was going to buy it at full price and I would have done a video on it anyway. So uh, take from that what you will, but this is not meant to be a review of this product per se. It's meant, you know, I, I was gonna buy this anyway, so I'm just showing you how I'm utilizing this in my rig and how great this product is. Okay, so I just wanna be really clear about that. What's actually happening with the tube amp expander is this unit, the KHE 8x4 switcher, has an attenuator input and output built into it. So I'm actually using the tube amp expander as an attenuator for all of the amplifiers, which is incredible because obviously the, the Silver Jubilee is a 50 watt head, the Mesa Boogie is 50 watts as well, but the, the Super Cut or the Cub Super here is 15 watts. Uh, the Friedman is 20, I believe, and the Laney is 20 as well. So they're all different volumes. And if I'm using the cabs with them as well, as opposed to the load boxes where I can turn down the output, um, I definitely want to be able to attenuate those amps, but I don't want to have to have a different attenuator for every single amplifier. So by using the attenuator input and output on the KHE switcher, I can actually use the, uh, the, the tube amp expander here. I could use a different attenuator as well, but there are some massive benefits for the tube amp expander that I'll go through in a second to attenuate the amp. So here with the uh, Silver Jubilee again. Sorry, that was the Dirty Shirley. Now onto the Silver Jubilee. It acts as kind of a volume control or attenuation control for every single amplifier with just a, a pair of cables. So basically the signal comes into the KHE, then goes out to the tube amp expander and then back to the KHE again, and it's working as an attenuator. Now the wonderful thing about using and pairing the KHE switcher with the tube amp expander is that it's got the variable uh, reactive load on here. So I can actually tailor the reactive load to whatever cab I'm using. So at the moment, it's tailored for the 4x12 that I'm using with the Marshall and the 4x12 simulation that I'm using on the Ox, which is what you're hearing, of course. But if I was using the 2x12, I could knock the, um, the variable reactive load back to the setting for a 2x12 cab, and it would work really well. And if I changed the emulation on, say, the, uh, the Captor X, for example, then I could utilize a particular variable reactive load that worked better for the cab that I was using, which is incredible. Now, the other reason why this is an amazing pairing with this unit is because I'm also using the effects loop on the tube amp expander for every single amplifier. Now, I should point out that KHE do make a unit, a switcher that has the effects loops built in, but what you need to do is you need to cable all the effects loops for each amplifier into the switcher. So it's even more cables. This is cable craziness behind here anyway, but you need to cable even more if you use the effects loops for each of the individual different amplifiers. I have my pedal board down here plugged into the effects loop of the 
tube amp expander, which is then being used as the attenuator, the master attenuator for the switcher here. And that means that I can use the effects loop on my board. Um, I have a Gig Rig G2 here that, uh, board that Daniel Steinhardt built for me. And this is amazing because I can turn on the effects loop on the tube amp expander and have it go to every single amplifier with just one set of cables or two, two cables. <laughs> So that is really, really cool. So all of my uh, drive pedals go into the front of each of the amplifiers, but my effects loop, so all of the modulations, delay, sorry, yeah, modulations, delays, and reverbs run into the effects loop of every single amplifier, or the, actually the effects loop of the tube amp expander. So I'm not using the effects loops of the individual amplifiers. So really, really clever. Now, the other reason it's really useful to combine these two units is because then I can use the effects from the tube amp expander as well. So at the moment, the effects are actually on. So for example, the reverb. So if I turn the reverb down, there's the dry signal. Turn the reverb up on the tube amp expander. There's the reverb, and that's actually now going through the cabs as well, not just through the DI'd signal, which is amazing. Uh, I can use the uh, EQ and solo boost. I can use the compression on the tube amp expander and I can use the delays as well. And they're really high quality. So this pairing is absolutely amazing. Really, really cool. My guitar is plugged in the back as well. So all the cabling is hidden. So it looks really neat as well. And uh, it's just a really, really compact setup. But the really amazing thing, if you use the KHE, is that everything is MIDI switchable. So on the back, we've got full MIDI implementation. Now I haven't set this up yet, but my Gig Rig G2 that's on the floor could potentially switch the tube amp expander and the KHE. So it could switch the different amplifiers and cabs, but at the same time, it could switch the effects on my board um, and it could you know, switch the different loops depending on you know, if I want drive in the front of the amp or whatever. It's an absolutely insane setup. And this is why I'm describing this as like an analog Axe FX, because think about it, when you use an Axe FX or a Bosch GT1000 Core or the Quad Cortex or um, a Line 6 product like the Helix, you press one button to change a preset and you get a different amp, a different cab, different effects. The routing can be different. Well, that's the same thing here, but with fantastic sounding real tube amps. It's just killer, absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, if you went and bought all this gear in one go to do this kind of a setup, that would be kind of insane because it would cost you an absolute fortune. But over the years, I've collected these tube amps. And as I say, there's more to add to this as well. I need to get the Cornford properly wired up. Um, and there's another Laney head, which I need to add to this as well. It's just a fantastic way of getting the best use out of your tube amps. And you know you don't need to pair it with the tube amp expander. This is a, a fantastic way of utilizing this device. And by the way, I should point out, I can also use the outputs of the tube amp expander to my audio interface. So if I turn down the aux and then turn up the tube amp expander, now you're hearing the tube amp expander's outputs. Um, if I turn the effects on, for example, So it really, really is very, very flexible, but you don't need the tube amp expander if you wanted to. You could just use the effects loops um, that, you know, buy the version that's got effects loops on, or you can expand this afterwards. So the guys at KHE sell a separate one U effects loop based unit, which just allows you to add the effects loop to the existing unit. If you do that, you can't use the attenuator though. Um, so that's worth knowing, but there's a lot of flexibility. Now, if you want something smaller, they also do a four by two, I believe, and some smaller units, possibly uh, six. I'll leave a link down in the description of the video below where you guys can check out the other units that they sell as well. But I am absolutely blown away by this thing. As I say, although this video is kind of sponsored because I did get a discount from Marcus on this unit and I want to be really clear about that, this wasn't set up initially in that way. Nobody approached me and asked me to use the unit or do a video of it. I was gonna buy this unit anyway, and this to me is 
just a fantastic piece of kit. It's really, really well made, really well priced for what it does as well. And if you can combine it with a few other bits of gear like this, it's a staggeringly useful unit. So I hope some of you guys find that useful. Um, definitely check them out using the link in the description below. They make, as I say, a bunch of different units that could be useful for, you know, depending on the size of the, the rig that you want to create, there's lots of different options and also expandability for the future as well, which is very, very cool because guitar players can't stop buying gear, of course. So yeah, it was very easy to set up as well. I'll make sure you guys see a picture of the back so you can see how it's all set up and so on and so forth. Very, very simple to do. I've got it all cabled into a single power unit as well, a power strip at the top, so a single button switches everything on. It's just incredibly straightforward and, you know, great, great setup. So I'm going to be using this going forwards for a lot of my videos. So if you guys have any questions on this or would like to know anything else about it, or just generally see a rig rundown of kind of... Um, I shouldn't use that word, Premier Guitar, that's their thing. Uh, kind of like a, a breakdown of my setup or a studio tour or whatever, feel free to ask for that in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons below, of course, and hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. My name's Tom Quayle, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.